Crypto is getting pretty interesting. The fake ETF news that we got a couple of days ago gave us some kind of a preview of what we can expect with Bitcoin and altcoins. And I think that it's gonna be extremely bearish for altcoins. And I think it's gonna be extremely bullish for Bitcoin. Let me show you why I uh, think that. In the meantime, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you feel like you wanna subscribe. If you don't feel like it, fuck it, do it anyway. Like the video, turn the bell notification on, let's get into it. So, yeah, what am I talking about right now again? FOMO, what the fuck? Oh, let me tell you. We had um, Cointelegraph coming out with, hey, an ETF got approved. And whether their intentions were like um, bad or not, we saw immediately what happened. Um, what I find quite interesting on this chart is the following. Because if we, and I hope I can get it back like this. If we look at the news back then, so here it is on the five minute time frame. What happened right here? We got the news and in a matter of like 10 minutes, the price pumped from 28k to 30k, 30k plus. So Bitcoin in a matter of like 10 minutes pumped with $2,000. I could tell you. Within these 10 minutes, most people weren't watching. A lot of people were still sleeping, uh, as given that they are uh, living in different time zones, or they uh, weren't paying attention to crypto back then, like these 10 minutes can go by before you know, right? And um, the price still pumped with 2K. So it means that the few people that were there, they felt like, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go get crazy in crypto, right? Um, so the price pumped quite a lot. So it already tells me that if we uh, have the real news, and it's not if, it's more like when. Once we have the real news, Bitcoin will probably pump way more than just 2K. So this shows that an ETF is actually price-wise very bullish for Bitcoin. Now, if it's going to be some kind of buy the rumor, sell the news event, it could be. Um, because eventually an ETF is bullish for the long term and it should not cause Bitcoin to go up like 50k and stay there and then, uh, you know, it will cool off probably at some point. But it is, Bitcoin has a very, very positive price uh, impact. Now, what I do notice though is the fake news was over and Bitcoin rallied back down. Now, what is quite interesting if we put it on the daily is we got the news and um, it turned out to be fake. So Bitcoin came down, but it did not came down to where it was. So people are now kind of anticipating to the fact that, yeah, okay, at a certain point we will get an ETF and it is bullish on the price. So let's maybe just keep our Bitcoin. Um, so people are excited for it, but what's way more interesting are altcoins because Bitcoin spiked, yes, but the Bitcoin dominance spiked as well. And the Bitcoin dominance, uh, showed me something that I, uh, find really interesting. So before I'm going to tell you what I'm about to tell you, so you will get why, uh, this is not so good for altcoins. You do have to know about the basics. The Bitcoin dominance shows you how much Bitcoin is dominating the crypto space. So from all of the money in the crypto market, here we have the total market, right? There's the total market cap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or other altcoins, stables, everything, right? If you take the Bitcoin dominance, this shows you how much of that total uh, market cap is sitting in Bitcoin. So the higher the Bitcoin dominance goes, the more Bitcoin is dominating. So the less altcoins are dominating. So um, it doesn't necessarily mean that if the Bitcoin dominance goes up, that altcoins go down on their dollar pair, but it does mean that altcoins are going down on their Bitcoin pair. Um, and that takes me you know, back to my whole thesis, like, hey, just DCA Bitcoin and buy altcoins later with that Bitcoin, of course, um, to make the most out of the coming run. But what is interesting to me is that once we had the news about the ETF, Bitcoin went to $30,208. The all-time high uh, for this year was sitting at $30,307. So Bitcoin did not reach a new cycle high, right? Uh, it was still 3K off, right? It was quite some movement to go still before we got there. 
Um, is that true what I say? Uh, 3K, uh, it's not necessarily true what I say. It's not 3K off, but it was like a, quite higher still. So Bitcoin was sitting, was not sitting at the high. However, the Bitcoin dominance did went to the cycle high. As you can see right here, the Bitcoin dominance went all the way up um, to 52.45% as the last high was sitting at 51.75%. So the Bitcoin dominance actually went up quite higher than that. So it shows you that although Bitcoin is not making new highs, the dominance is making new highs. So it shows the weakness in altcoins. And this is the result when we get an ETF on a smaller scale. That, that's kind of what I'm seeing right here. And that's what we said earlier, right? A Bitcoin ETF will send the dominance up hard and it will send altcoins down hard against the Bitcoin pair again, right? Like it doesn't have to mean altcoins go down on the dollar pair, but on the Bitcoin pair. So you better be in Bitcoin now. Um, but that's what I find quite interesting that the dominance does make new highs. And we basically got kind of blessed with a kind of a preview of what we are going to see, but on, on a small scale, like I said, um, because this lasted for a couple of minutes. Yeah, the, the real news <laughs> will last, like, and not for four minutes, but like it will last. And then we will see what it's really going to do in the full move. Yeah, and in my opinion, that's going to send the dominance way higher. Um, if we just take uh, the, the Fibonacci, like you can already see like the dominance is was ranging for two years um, between like 50 and 40 percent, give or take. And it was stuck. And when it went up, everybody said, oh, alt coins going down. When it went down, everybody like, oh, alt season. So alt down, alt season, alt down, alt season. Uh, like these are quite small moves compared to the overall chart still, right? Um, and if we really want to see a big alt season, we first have to see the dominance go up so that it can also go down hard, right? Well, we are now doing that. We are now going up quite hard, but we are definitely not yet where we are supposed to be. Uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, we can go way higher if we take a look at Fibonacci right here and we take it from this bottom to the last wick, basically the last high, which was here. You can see that the 0 0.38 and uh, 0 0.82, 382 fucking hell. Sorry, I don't need my coffee, man. And the 0 0.618 is coming in here. And that's between 57 and 60 percent. Now it starts to make a lot more sense if we see that the the ETF news already took the dominance up quite hard in that four, five, six minutes, basically. While that if we get the real news, yeah, then it can it then it can def definitely take it up to these levels right here, right? So um, you now have uh, another uh, piece of evidence, basically to use for yourself uh, to say like, hey, maybe we should now be a little careful with altcoins um, because the big Bitcoin dominance move is coming, right? We are not topped out. Um, purely from a, just a technical perspective, apart from this whole, uh, you know, ETF news, if we take a look at the fact that the dominance is in an uptrend for the whole year, it's been making higher highs and higher lows, right? We were in a small downtrend right here, which we broke as well. We hold this line perfectly right here. And if we look at the bull market support band, we are holding it perfectly as well. And every time we get there, we bounce and we go up harder. Um, so purely from a te technical perspective, the dominance is insane bullish. We are sitting at some big resistance for sure but it shows a lot of strength, a lot of strength. And we now know that the ETF news is gonna blast the dominance. Uh, so if you want to put some news to it, like, hey, what's gonna make the dominance go up? Then it's going to be the ETF news. 
um, or just Bitcoin going up, basically. So, but this is interesting because also what 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 I find quite interesting about this, um, and then I'm gonna have to take it at a four-hour chart, give or take. Bitcoin from the moment it peaked uh, in this week to where it is right now is now down 5.5%, give or take. If we take a look at the dominance where it peaked and where it is right now, it is down 0.8%. So Bitcoin has come, came down quite a bit like from that point. The dominance is like still holding up right there, right? So that also means uh bad news for altcoins of course and you can see that for example on uh the, the ethereum bitcoin chart that this is like ethereum is the biggest altcoin right and it's kind of showing us where altcoins might go yeah if we take a look at this trend where it was since well august 2022 um low highs low lows and now broke to the downside found support so far on this trend line right here but is that it? I I don't know. If the dominance goes up further, then Ethereum Bitcoin is going down further as well, of course. And that could easily take it off of this support. And yeah, there is not a lot of support under that. And then we're really sitting at the 0 0.4 range. And this is probably the, the whole area right here that it could go to. Um, so, and what you can also see now is that if we take a look at the altcoin market on its Bitcoin pair, yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, I mean, this was the distribution phase. We are now in the downtrend like a usual cycle, right? And it's playing out exactly like here. And it's funny, like now people probably say like, yeah, but this is because of the ETF fake news, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter what the news is. The chart is actually eventually doing this, right? We spoke about the fact that the chart is going to do this. Now, what news is going to cause it to do that? Yeah, that's what we don't know, right? In this case, it turned out to be the fake the ETF news. But on the other hand, the it was already doing this for a long time, right? So we had it right here in this cycle as well. Um, very, very, very similar, if you ask me. We were in an accumulation phase. We went up. We had a distribution phase, we went down, we went in a small uptrend in uh, 2019, uh, like if the four year cycle, if you believe in that, then you, that's actually four years ago. Um, we broke that uptrend, we fell down, we retested once and we came into the accumulation phase. Then we had an uptrend, we had a big distribution phase, started our downtrend, we bounced here at the 0.54% uh, range, like kind of where we did right there. We started the small uptrend. We broke it, right? And now what I expect, therefore I've drawn this to go down, retest, and start the accumulation phase. I could say like, yeah, but this, then you're basically just copying what we did right here. Yeah, because we are basically just copying <laughs> what we did right here. Um, so far, it's exactly the same. And Again, whatever the news is, doesn't matter. The chart is the same. Um, therefore, I love crypto. Like, it's so super cyclical, right? It, it always kind of, they say it doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. Well, this is kind of repeating, though. <laughs> it's quite crazy. Um, but therefore, altcoins are now going down on their Bitcoin pair again. Um, and you could say, like, yeah, but what does it matter? If you have dollars, you can just buy altcoins when they uh, hit the bottom. But, um, Again, if you would have bought Bitcoin, then you were up 2x, give or take, right? If you would have been in dollars, you're flat. Um, so you can now buy altcoins with your profits. Um, but a lot of altcoin charts, like I, uh, it's quite interesting, this, this Cardano chart, for example. I told you uh, here somewhere that I've bought some Cardano with my Bitcoin because it is, you know, this is a major macro support line. And I said like, hey, there's a good chance that this holds. Like we have this pattern over here and it went up. We have the same pattern over here. So I said, there's a good chance it went up. So I DCA'd a little bit into Cardano. Also said like, yeah, but I DCA'd. I didn't buy that much because there is always a chance it breaks down. Now it broke down though. Um, as you can see right here, Cardano for the first time, yeah. Well, we want to see how the week ends. Maybe this is a little too uh, too soon um, because we had these fake outs before. 
But if the week closes here um, or lower, then this will be the first time ever for Cardano to break the only, you know, uh, well, like uh, the technical uh, support line it has. Um, and then it's very likely for Cardano to, to look at the horizontals in that case. Yeah, and what's there, right? Well, this area right here and here. So therefore, I've drawn this box right here. Anywhere between 550 and 400 Satoshi's, give or take. Right? That's what, where Cardano could go. Now, a lot of people, they, they find me too, too bearish on altcoins. Um, but you have to realize, let's say this plays out, right? I mean, it, it, it is playing out like since ever, right? So let's say if it plays out a little more and we get there. What happens? Well, Cardano... Could go down 50%, 40, 50% on its Bitcoin pair. So let's say 40. If Bitcoin stays where it is right now, right? Uh, so Bitcoin doesn't move, but Cardano goes down 50, 40% on its Bitcoin pair. It means that Cardano goes down 40% on its dollar pair, right? So that Cardano goes down to 14 cents or so. Right? But what if Bitcoin also goes down, which it does every pre-having year? Again, that's what it always does. Could be that it doesn't happen, but if it does what it always does, then it does. Okay? So what if Bitcoin also goes down uh, to, to, I don't know, 20K or so, right? 20K. So another 30%. Then Cardano is being worth less, 40% less against Bitcoin, which is also down 30%. That could easily mean that we can see a Cardano at like 10 cents or so, right? I think this, this trend line should be better off here, right? 10 cents. Now, that's Cardano. I know a lot of people also don't care about Cardano, but that's not the point. Um, this could be any altcoin, right? We can all also look at... Um, AVAX, right? Yeah, AVAX is showing extreme weakness, right? And AVAX could easily uh, go down another 40% as well, right? But then again, if AVAX or if Bitcoin also goes down 30%, then we don't have AVAX going down to $4, but we could have AVAX sitting at like $3 or $2, right? That goes for a lot of altcoins. So it sounds like it's super unrealistic um, because, oh, down 60%, 70%. I don't know, but so far, these charts are all down so far. So why is it unrealistic to think that it's now going to not stop, right? While the dominance is breaking out and the uh, total three is kind of halfway there. Um, and that's where we could really change our life, really be uh, having insane entries. Because I told you before, like... A lot of people in crypto, they focus a lot on uh, their, their exit point. They'd be like, um, they look at, let's say DOT, right? They look at DOT and they'd be like, uh, what if it goes back to its all-time high? And let's say it does. Not every altcoin is going there. I don't know if DOT goes back to its all-time high. Probably not. But, you know, what if? Good measurement point, right? Then from this point, you can make a 15x, right? The people that have been DCAing all the time already because they thought they should just buy the dip, they have a way higher entry, so maybe, I don't know, here, they can make a 8x, right? It's kind of, is that what you're in for crypto? But if DOT goes down another 60%, let's say, first, right? So it goes down to 140, for example. And from 140, it's going back to its all-time high. Then you can make a 40x on DOT, like a relative safe altcoin. Yeah, these are returns that sound like oh, 40x, 50x. Is that like, can we go that high? No, we don't have to go higher necessarily if we go lower first. And that's exactly what the market is doing. And that's exactly what the market is showing that it's still going to do. Even if we get that ETF, altcoins could still go down on their Bitcoin pair. Right? And then you have these entries. You do not need... To, to listen to people uh, like, hey, if you want to make 100x, go buy this risky altcoin. You don't need to be in the risky stuff. Matter of fact, if you want to make as many, many x's as possible, 
you can play the market pretty safe by first being in Bitcoin, writing that, making profits on that, and then when the altcoin market bottoms on the Bitcoin pair, DCA the bottom range with that Bitcoin. And then write the altcoin season. Because then you maybe make a 5x on Bitcoin first, and then make another 10x on the altcoin market. That's also a 50x, right? Or you make 20x on the altcoin market, you have 100x. While you've been in the half of the bull market, you've been in Bitcoin, <laughs> right? It's super safe. Um, and in the meantime, you've prevented yourself from buying all these dips. Like every, I still see people so, so much like, ah, yeah, it's now so low, buy the dip, buy the dip. Bruh, I don't know, but this chart is literally still making low lows and low highs. Like what's, what in the world on this chart says that this now is the bottom? Literally nothing, nothing, nothing at all. You don't have to know about crypto that much to know this, right? High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, 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 oh, anywhere, right? So you don't want to fuck with this shit right now. You, you just want to look at some charts and be like, hey, like, for example, again, this, this chart, altcoins on their Bitcoin pair, like, is this chart going down or up? <sighs> it's not so hard, right? Dominance, super bullish. If you take a look at the dominance um, of Bitcoin and Ethereum, also getting there, but not taking this out, while well, the Bitcoin dominance did, because Ethereum is also going down uh, right now. Because guess what? Bitcoin is an altcoin. If you take a look at the dominance without stable coins, even more interesting. So this actually shows how Bitcoin is doing against altcoins alone, without stables. And if you take stables away, you see that, yeah, I know, since January 2022, and really basically since May 2021 was a way low low, way low, it was a low low, altcoins have been losing from Bitcoin. If you want to buy altcoins, then you have to take a look at this chart and be like, yeah, this is a bearish chart. Yeah, sorry, but I don't see that. I don't see this chart being bearish at all. Everything is saying this is going higher. Um, and the ETF kind of confirmed that. The fake ETF kind of confirmed this for us. So play this however you want to play this, of course. If you feel like, ah, red, just buy uh, DC into altcoins. Great, do it. So far, it hasn't worked out. And I don't see anything on the chart that so far, uh, or that it's now different. Matter of fact, it's only getting confirmed that the dominance is getting stronger. Bitcoin is very much stronger compared to altcoins. Um, and there is such a good way to play this market by not being in altcoins yet. And if you do that, you will make way more money than the people that now DCA into altcoins. Because they not even don't make money right now, they lose money right now. Yeah, and believe me that if you still have money to buy the lows, like, and again, don't try to time the bottom, but the lower area, like, that's insane. Again, people say, like, oh, $3.60, so cheap for that. Yeah, if you compare it to the $60 it came from, of course. But if you can get it for $140, like, again, it's 60% lower. And people still say, like, yeah, but I don't care about these temporary 60% losses. Well, one, it does suck. Come on, admit it. If you lose 60%, sucks. Two, you will have like way less money to buy this level if you already buy it here. And three, again, if you now already DCA, your average is somewhere here. And like I showed you, if you go back to the all time high, you may make 12x or so. If you DCA the bottom range, you can make 40x. That's a huge difference. And that's what I'm doing it for. I, and four, who the fuck knows if that is going to survive? Or like, this is an example. It doesn't matter. Um, but insert any altcoin. Who knows that it's going to survive? The closer you buy to the bull run, the likelier it is that that altcoin survives. So you also, with that, timing-wise, take a lot of risk uh, for being in alts right now. Ah, oh, there he goes again, preaching about not buying alts. Fucking FOMO. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna wrap it up. Check the Patreon down below. There you can get a lot of interesting information, exclusive videos, podcasts, moonshots, NFT calls, whitelist spots, personal consulting, a lot. Um, anything else, please like the video. Take care.